Rahul, one of the peculiar things with India is uh, the fact that our markets have, uh, over the last two or three years, become so dominant on FII flows because of the lack of retail interest in our own uh, market and both the DIIs, that's the mutual funds and the insurance companies, far from seeing inflows, have actually been seeing outflows. And that makes the dependence, as far as the market is concerned on FIIs, even more stronger than perhaps some of the other countries. In the backdrop of what you just said, that forget about the $20, $25 billion, but you might actually see outflows, where would that leave our markets in terms of the valuations? I think clearly, should the tail risk uh, arise, valuations can go a lot more lower. But that is not the base case scenario. The base case scenario is that we've got smart administrators who know better than you and me about the problem. The only thing is they need to act quickly so that, again, all these risks are kind of a nipped in the bud. Once those risks are taken care of with kind of a, a clearances government is giving on most projects and with kind of a momentum which is coming back in the economy, hopefully two years later we should see a, a economy again coming back on the growth path. But in the near term, Rahul, do you fear that there could be even more downside from what we've seen playing out in the last week or ten days? In the near term, if the currency continues to depreciate, I think markets would fall. See, as investors, as most FIs, we are overweight. Um, again, IT sector, pharmaceuticals, some of the consumer staples and private sector banks. But should the rupee go to about 70, you will see people liquidating even these defensive positions. You will see private sector banks coming under pressure because then again, there would be a lot of talk that the infrastructure uh, developers who own a lot of foreign currency uh, debt may not be able to honor commitment. So then it again sets up the vicious loop, which is why it's very important that in this limited window of next couple of weeks, government acts very quickly to beef up the dollar reserves. Hello and welcome to Market News.